uh, you talked a little bit in your introduction of how it came up, came to be, so just let everyone know, kind of. Well, well it, there were really a lot of different reasons, but most of the books that I write have to do with freedom of expression. So I write about human rights, civil rights, and the arts, anything that gets people to talk, to give a voice to somebody. And uh, LGBTQ, the T, when I started this book, was never even talked about. In fact, my friends thought I was nuts for doing it because there weren't that many transgender people around as far as anyone knew. It was five years ago and it was very quiet. But I thought because they had it was the least talked about, there were still kids who were being teased. There were still kids who were being maligned, beaten, and some even murdered. And I thought, wait a minute, we have to talk about this. And so that's what really started on the whole, on the whole. Like this journey. Can you just talk a little bit about where you found these teens in your book? Uh, well, that that was that was a trick. It took me close to a year to find to be even begin starting. First of all, I have a lot to learn, and secondly, um, I didn't want to if, to ask somebody to do something or to just go up to anybody and say, you know, all right, my book. So I looked for an organization that I really respected that was working with transgender teens. And when I found it, that was Callan Lord Community uh, Health Center in uh, Manhattan. So while I was there, uh, we figured out a way that I could find out about the kids without them tur without turning them down. Anyone they gave me, I was going to use because I didn't want to turn them down. But I also didn't want to compromise the client-patient relationship. So we worked out this very elaborate thing where the psychologist who worked there, who was also a writer and understood what I was getting at, would tell me very kind of vaguely who a person was and say, I think this person's really articulate and would have an interesting story to tell you. And I wanted to be sure that I had a real mix of transgender, male to female, female to male, gender neutral and intersex. So that had to be very, that had to be included, plus a mix of socioeconomic conditions, uh, situations, uh, racial, like, I just wanted it to be very, very broad so that everybody would be included. And and we just worked together. Once she, once the psychologist would tell me uh, about a person and I thought it would be good, she would give that person my phone number and that was it. It was up to the person to call me. If the person didn't want to do it, they wouldn't do it. If the person felt they wanted to do it, we would meet and talk about it. I'd explain it. So it was quite a lot. And I think it worked out pretty well because I have a really, really diverse group of kids. Yeah. So how about you, Liz?